Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to work on a little Christmas project on something that I purchased at a craft fair, but it looks like it needs a little finishing touch. Let me grab it for you. He does look like he needs a little something. So I have found something on Design Space and resized it. We're going to go ahead and get that cut. We'll apply it on the front here and then we can put that outside, plug it in and I'll show you what it looks like. Stay tuned. So this is the design I came up with. I think it is gonna work out perfectly for what I was wanting on the front of this. So I'm gonna pick out my vinyls and I'm gonna get them cut on the Maker 3 and then we'll go ahead and apply it. I'll probably put a coat of Mod Podge over the front of it just to protect it from the snow. With those individual bulbs all being fairly small, today we're gonna to be able to use my scrap file. Now, there's a reason that I save all of these and that is because that might be just big enough to do one of the bulbs. Vinyl is not inexpensive, so anytime that I can save some scraps and be able to reuse some of this is perfect. Here's a blue, this might work as well, and I do have some other colors. So I will be doing the tops of the bulbs in this gold. I did have to pull out my roll of black vinyl only because I don't have a scrap large enough. And then I'm probably gonna have to grab a green because of the way that that cord goes. Here's a perfect example of using a piece of scrap. This is two inches wide by a little over three inches, okay? That's all I need. And I had saved this scrap from doing other projects. There you go. A great reason to be saving your scraps. One little hint I do wanna show you today is weeding on your mat. Some of the print on here is a little bit on the fine side. So sometimes it's pretty easy to end up tearing it or whatever. Now, I did get this hint from Makers Gonna Learn, uh, which is another channel on YouTube. You'll have to check them out. Their hint was to weed it while it's on the mat. This way it's stationary, it's all on, it's nice and tight, and we don't have to worry about it. So I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Grab all my little middle pieces here and pull those off first. So I've got one more here. And I think I got everything. Now what I want to do is finish removing the background. And I am going to grab it in a corner. Carefully pull up. And the Mary isn't fine. It is the bright. That is pretty fine. All right, this could be a little tricky here. There we go. And there we go. So now I can apply my transfer tape right here directly on this and I have a perfectly weeded piece. Try this next time you are doing small letters, anything delicate. Like right in here would have been very easy for it to pull up and tear. So 
check out Makers Gonna Learn. They've got a lot of really cool tips and tricks to make your projects turn out great. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this because I can put my transfer tape on later and I'm gonna grab my next piece and bring it over. We're gonna go ahead and get the rest of these weeded so we can attach them. Now, I am trying to see my cut lines on here. Okay, so from here to here. I'm gonna trim this up, trying to save as much vinyl as I can. We don't need to waste anything. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is just cut this little square type piece out. And there I've got some nice scraps. So, grab my weeding tool. And this is the wire for our bulbs to be on. Okay, so we've got that ready, and I'm going to quick weed out our bulbs. And what do we got here? And sometimes these are hard to see. Navy has kind of had better days, so I'm not going to worry about saving any of this. I did a white piece instead of doing the red. Good grief. what I'm going to use this for. I thought I'd grabbed a different color. So, the next thing we're going to do is, this to me feels like a huge waste. There we go. All right. So these are the little tops to our bulbs. And just gonna get this needed. And then we'll be able to put all these on. So let me grab my piece real quick and we will get him put together. So right now I wanna find my center of the design. What I'm gonna do is just kinda of lay everything out. I'm going to cut in here a little bit just to see. Okay. So I try to just follow the design itself and it looks as though Mary sits right in here. And then we have our bulbs. So let's see.
just trying to get an idea of the size of this. First thing I want to do four and three quarters. A little bit more than four and three quarters here. And then height wise, we are nine inches. So four and a half inches up. Okay. Oops. Need a little marker. Center of my design is actually going to be Roughly here. And it doesn't have to be an exact science. But I need to know where to put this in relationship to the rest. So I'm just going to look at this real quick. And I went ahead and marked the center of it because. That will help me center my design. And I'm going to pull this back. Okay, now we need to make sure that we get this to adhere to our transfer tape. While I'm here, I'm gonna apply a coat of Mod Podge to this. I've got this adhered now, and I have one coat of Mod Podge on this, and it did end up kind of taking some of the paint off, which I kind of liked in the end. So I took my transfer tape and went back over it and kind of started pulling some of that paint up. So you can kind of see the edges where the paint has come off, which I think is kind of cool. I think it turned out pretty cool. And yes, it is a little bit different. The white bulb should not be underneath the Mary, but I do like it there. I think this turned out absolutely adorable. I'm really glad I did it. And I hope this gives you inspiration to update something or make some changes to something that you already own. Thanks for stopping in. We're going to have some fun.